Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, all that good jazz. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day today. If you guys are celebrating the holiday, I personally am. Had to come on and watch this episode, and what a great gift that we're getting for this episode. I gotta say, I love this ending. It was a great ending to this arc, anime original arc. I know some people might be like, yo, this arc was ass, but I think from what I've seen and what I've personally watched, it has been received very well. This is probably one of the best ones that we've had when it comes to filler arcs. But guys, before I continue, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I would truly appreciate that. It means the world to me. And remember, guys, the goal to get to 4,000 before the end of the year. We only had a few more days left, so help me out. <laughs> it would mean the world to me if you would do that. But if not, I get it. But we're trying to get there. But anyway, this episode was great. We actually have Boruto waking up, as we saw in the last episode. He's waking up and he's looking around. And out of nowhere, we actually have Roku and Yatsume also waking up. Them, three of them are together. We know that Kisuru is like knocked out. And so these three go along together and they're trying to explore how to get out of there. Roku, of course, he wants to look around. He wants to find the exit. We see that Yatsume finds the map, but Roku really wants to go solo on this one. And he actually is able to kind of, well, firstly to tell you that they were kind of going in circles. And then Boruto gets separated from them because we see that there's a wall that divides them because Oga kind of realized that they were doing this kind of searching around so he figured he separated them and so yatsume gets basically put not put down but like defeated easily by rokuru and rokuru takes the map and we have him actually finding what looks to be an interesting room he goes in and he finds oga in there but it's the puppet form and so this puppet actually attacks rokuru killing him and then it's just down to Yatsume and Boruto. And we before Roku was defeated, we see that he actually spit out one of his venom snakes that we've seen him already use on, I believe his name was Namoa or Na Name. Well, I can't remember his name, but one of the guys already in the previous episodes. And now we see that she uses this and she starts attacking Boruto. She tries to fight it back. And Boruto realizes when he gets hit with the kunai it, that this is actually another genjutsu and so i was like wait a minute this is exactly what i thought this is we're, we're in another genjutsu and this doesn't hurt so something is up and we see that ryatsume's uh, i guess parasite kind of goes away she goes back to normal she's like ah well i guess you figured it out and she reveals that she is in fact oga that Oga is her, that she is an inner, and that she's taken Boruto to the same place where we've had Jigen before. She is the eighth inner. So interesting that we have her here. But apparently Oga was basically kind of dismissed by Jigen and had something removed from her, part of her head, which was crazy. And she's not necessarily physically strong. She just has a, a very strong mental capacity, which this, of course, is, you know, what has allowed her to do this. She made this experiment in order for her to try to find a desire to live. She has none of that now. She's, if anything, kind of like a puppet. So she's kind of like in this state of not knowing what to do. And Boruto, I want to say props to him throughout the entirety of this arc. He was truly being one of the best. He didn't want to leave anyone behind. Despite all the things that Oga did, Oga was like, you know, I deserve to die, essentially. Put me down. If you do it, then everyone else will wake up and I won't have to do this anymore. And Boruto refuses that. He refuses to let Oga die. It's like, I'm going to help you get a desire to live, to find it. And in the process, she falls in love with him. I know a lot of people aren't saying it, but guys, Oga is falling for our boy. Crazy enough how Boruto keeps attracting all these like strong women or strong girls, put it that way, sorry, strong girls who have had some kind of villainous past. I mean, we've seen it with Sumire. Sumire is a 
pretty was pretty villainous back then. And now Olga now has also fallen for our boy. I wouldn't say Sarada. Sarada is kind of like she's just kind of like that bossy kind of girl. So he doesn't like pushovers, that's for sure. So we see that Olga now joins up with the hair. Let's put it that way. And Baruto is able to kind of give her that push. She does wake up in the real world and she does free everybody. Everybody's around. Everyone's safe. Thankfully, no one actually died. We actually got a letter. Uh, we saw uh, our boy give uh, Baruto the letter. And it's like, I'm sorry, I, I kind of ran off. I hope to see you soon. I have my desire. You can guess what it is, but I hope to see you soon. And so I do love that. I do love that it gives us that hope that we will see her again. I'm hoping, personally, that it's not too long. I would love to see more Oga because I think Oga would be a great character to have in this. And I'm hoping that she becomes canon because I would love for Baruto to ask Amado what exactly Oga is because we're getting to some good stuff with that. Like, I didn't know we had any more inners. And so this is interesting. I thought overall this is a phenomenal arc. Um, I never watched Squid Game, so this is probably the closest I'll ever get to watching a show like this. And I know they're coming back with another season, which makes no sense, but that's no here, no there. But definitely loved this, seeing this kind of plot twist, no one dying, and everything it being okay. But guys, that is it for me. I'm going to go back and enjoy the rest of my Christmas day. I hope you guys have enjoyed yours. Having a phenomenal day if you don't celebrate regardless. As always, though, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you all later.